Okay, my name is Andrea Mitchell, and um, I am so excited to be a part of this call tonight. And um, I am going to kick it off with my friend Lisa. She's going to start off with her story so that you know exactly what's going on. Lisa, can you unmute? I got it. Okay, there you go. Hi, guys. I'm Lisa Sturgis. I'm a wife, a mom of two, and a third grade teacher. My husband, Paul, and I are currently on day three of being official empty nesters. And if you've got any tips, I will welcome them in the chat. So let me start by filling you in a little about my story and where I started, where I was, and where, how I got to where I am today. Last December, while sitting on the couch, a place that I've spent a lot of time, I had a really big realization. I was 53 the same age my mom was when she suffered a massive heart attack that put her on the heart transplant list. I quickly evaluated my lifestyle and my choices, and it was easy to see that I was heading down the same path. Perhaps you've seen my before pictures. I was easily the heaviest I had ever been at 188 pounds. My cholesterol numbers were high, and the doctor wanted to put me back on prescription medication to lower my cholesterol. And I was tired of being tired, and I knew I needed to do something interplexus. Andrea posted about a 60-day challenge, and I figured, what do I have to lose? I might as well give it a try. So I jumped in. On January 1st, I started my plexus journey again. That's right. I had actually tried the pink drink before and quit about six years ago because I didn't see results fast enough. That's kind of my MO. Try this and quit. Try that and quit. And then once I quit, any weight I had lost comes back plus a few more for good measure. But this time I was determined it would be different. My game plan was simple. One, keep it simple. Two, be consistent. And three, it had to be sustainable, something I can live with. One, keeping it simple. Well, after I visited with, with Andrea, the two key things I heard her say were be consistent with your products and drink your water. So the first thing I needed to do was up my water intake. The recommended amount of water a day is half of your body weight in ounces. So I got a 32 ounce water bottle and I decided to drink and refill it at least three times a day, but my goal was to do it four times a day. Two, how do I stay consistent? Actually taking my products was the easy part. I set up a routine and simply stuck to it, no excuses. In the beginning, I simply read the bottle and did exactly what it said. And I'll admit those bio cleanse directions were the hardest ones to be consistent with. Well, that's where talking with Andrea about what I was doing really helped. She was able to suggest different ways to get the products into my day. Side note, I had no idea that when I joined Plexus, I was getting a huge community of people that would be there to help answer questions, encourage me, and cheer for my success. Three, making, something, making it something that I could live with. The best thing I did was to set myself up for success was when I decided not to restrict anything. I know that sounds crazy, but I know myself pretty well and knew that if there was a, you can't have this list, I'd fixate on that, what I couldn't have instead of the things that I can have. Now that doesn't mean I ate anything I wanted. Instead, I committed to making the healthiest choice possible when it was time to eat. So for example, breakfast is easy. It's a meta burn with my lean shake every day. Lunch and dinner took more effort on my part. I started off with a salad and some form of protein in my lunch with one Metaburn. Now I'm an elementary school teacher and our lunch is about 25 minutes if I'm lucky. So a small salad fit into that time frame perfectly. Now for dinner, I would just make normal dinner for my family. I would just be mindful of my portion. Now this was working for me and I'd lost 12 pounds by the end of that first month, but I wanted to do more. Now, tucked away in my brain, I had remembered a friend explaining something that her doctor had mentioned to me. Cholesterol forms in your body at night while you sleep. Okay, since high cholesterol has been my issue for the last 15 years, I decided to make lunch my biggest meal of the day, giving my body more time to process that meal before going to bed. And here's how I did it. So after making dinner for my family, I take my portion and I just package it up. I put it in the fridge. It's my lunch for the next day, done. So you're thinking, great, but what do you eat for dinner? Well, remember the salad that I was taking for lunch? Now it's my dinner. I just throw on some of the protein that I cook for my family or maybe a boiled egg and I keep it simple and small. Now I get asked a lot about snacking. 
I really don't snack very often. I'm busy drinking so much water every day that I just don't feel the desire to pick up a snack. So after two weeks of being on the products, I found that snacking and craving those unhealthy foods was beginning to fade away and making healthy choices was getting easier. Now, due to a certain daughter drinking my Slim before heading back to college, I found myself out of Slim this week and boy have I noticed a huge difference. The hunger pains are real and it's harder to control those snacking urges. And that just simply tells me that Slim Hunger Control is doing its job. And thankfully, my box arrived about an hour ago. Thank goodness. I consistently followed my game plan for three months and I lost a lot of weight and was feeling so much better and excited about where I was headed. And then COVID. I took advantage of this time at home as a virtual teacher to up my game. Around mid-April, I started walking. It started with short walks and then I just kept upping my distance and my time as part of the 10,000 steps a day challenge. Okay, I'm a bit competitive. So when I saw Andrea posting her step count, I took it as my own personal challenge to beat her every day. That's just the way I am. So taking my daily walks was one of my favorite parts of the day because I spent that time chatting with Andrea. You should know that back in January, we were just casual friends. But those daily walks and those talks really grew our friendship. Again, when you start a Plexus journey, you're not alone. There are people at every turn waiting to help you. Now that I'm back at work, I'll be honest, finding that time to walk each day and have those long chats, chats with my friend, Andrea and Kelly, it's, it's really hard, but it's not impossible. It just takes effort. And knowing how important that accountability partner is to my success, I'm willing to make it happen. When I went to the doctor at the end of May, I was told to keep doing exactly what I'm doing. No medication was prescribed, even though my LDL isn't where it needs to be yet. Although all the other numbers are well within normal range and my risk of heart attack in the next 10 years is 1%. So I would say my game plan worked. I'm down 57 pounds and I feel amazing and I'm in such a better place. Eight months ago, I would have never dreamed that I'd be talking with you tonight about my plexus journey. I hope you find my simple approach helpful and thanks for letting me share. And so now Andrea is gonna go over all the products that I just mentioned. Hey guys, okay, I want to um, thank Lisa for telling us all of that. I think it's so important to hear um, kind of the day to day. So if there's something that you felt like was really helpful with what she said, I would love for you to comment in the chat because I have a feeling it's gonna help other people as well, but it's also really good for us to hear feedback of things that um, are helpful for you. So. And thank you so much, Lisa. So all of us have a story, right? And we all get to decide, you know, or look at our own life and say, what is your story? It might be sluggish or headaches or migraines or sugar cravings. I mean, you can see the list there. It's, it runs the gamut. And honestly, if I look at this list, I can see not only a lot of my own story, but the stories of my husband or my parents or even my kids as they start out, things are already genetically struggling with. And so, and you know what your story is. You know the things you're struggling with and you know the things that have almost become normal. I've just become, this is just how my body works. Um, so what makes the plexus different? So we're gonna get to the root of four issues. Gut health, which is all about in, in, uh, elimination in your microbiome, and um, vitamin and mineral deficiency, and inflammation and blood sugar instability. So let's talk a little bit about gut health. So why is it important? 70 to 80% of your immune system, key, key word right now in everything we talk about, um, is in our gut. So our nutrients are absorbed and toxins are kept out. It's also known as our second brain, which is so huge for mood right now. I don't know about you, um, but my world is very um, kind of on the brink. We're in the virtual learning stage here in Dallas, and um, it is crazy. And then gut bacteria can affect weight loss productivity, which we all need, and happiness and mood, which we need so badly right now. And it's just going, I think the outside world is going to get worse. So we have to take better and better care of our bodies so that we really are completely equipped to take care of what's going on in our houses as well. And, and then there's lots of things that destroy your gut. And if you look at that list, I have a feeling at least one of those things are something that you have um, going on in your life or have had at some point. Um, okay, so triplex is our key system. It's like the foundation. It's the bedrock of what we do. It is where everyone should start 
Um, not everybody does, but eventually, if you're with Plexus long enough, you end up on these three products. But if you start here, you're starting in a great place. And these are definitely the three things um, that I started with in my journey seven years ago. Um, Slim, um, which is also known as the pink drink, um, which does a whole lot more than its name um, suggests. ProBio 5, which is our probiotic and bio cleanse. This is a three-step system. And it's truly a system and it is foundational for everything that we do because of the gut health. So Slim comes in two um, flavors, but also two um, types. And they're just very minor differences, but just enough that you can pick your focus. So you have Slim Microbiome, and um, regulates blood sugar, helps control the cholesterol and lipid levels we were talking about, has prebiotics in it, which is great for feeding good bacteria. It's a watermelon raspberry flavor, um, and it is, it is clinically demonstrated to help you lose weight. And then some hunger control, which Lisa and I will both mention tonight, and um, helps regulate your blood sugar. Again, it's the chromium. It really helps with insulin levels. If you know anything about blood sugar, insulin, um, it affects so many parts of your body. And if you um, have something you're currently struggling with, I would challenge you to uh, put those into Google with insulin um, and or gut health and see how many things are affected by those insulin and your gut health. And it has a fiber to help you feel full, full longer. It's a blood orange lemon flavor, which is my favorite. And it is well as clinically demonstrated to help you lose weight. Then we go into our probiotic, which might be everyone's favorite. Everyone is welcome to put in the chat which one of these three is your favorite. But I think ProBio5 um, is one of those that and um, you never want to run out of. Um, actually, I think all of these, as Lisa just mentioned, you never want to run out of, but this one actually scares me to run out of, and I'll tell you a little bit about that in my story, but um, it helps um, keep intest intestinal yeast in balance, digestive enzymes to break down food, uh, antifungals to attack the outer shell of bacterial pathogens, and supports a healthy intestinal tract, healthy digestion, anti every, all the bad things, and um, helps bacteria count and pH levels in the gut, which we don't think about very often, but is so important. BioCleanse is a natural cleanse that is a daily cleanse. And so it helps cleanse the uh, gastrointestinal tract, reduces gas bloating and any GI discomfort and promotes regularity, which is so, so, so important. And reduces unwanted microbes and substances, relieves occasional constipation, um, but it is a daily cleanse. It's not something you just take for a short period of time or you take, um, you know, to, in like a one day, like I'm not leaving the house kind of a day. This is an every single day thing. And sometimes your body does need to regulate to it, but um, I have been taking this product and so has my daughter for seven years this month um, every day. Um, very, very important. So some uh, products that you will hear Lisa and I both talk about also um, in addition to our triflex is lean, which is our um, protein shake is methylated folate, which is so important if you have a genetic disorder of MTHFR mutation. Um, it is bioavailable vitamins and minerals, a digestive enzyme to help, di help aid digestion, which is so important in all the foods we eat. And um, it does have um, either a um, whey protein or a plant-based -based protein. And you get to pick which protein you want. And um, I will say for lean, um, my children all drink this. In fact, I saw it on the desk of my 10-year-old this morning um, as he was starting virtual learning. It's just such a great way to start your day or to supplement a meal. Or if you have the snackies, it's a great snack, especially if you need a little sweet. Um, I throw peanut butter in mine for a little salty. Um, but it's just, there's a million recipes out there. Um, Metaburn, um, Lisa and I will both and tell you how much we love. Mine is sitting on my desk. Like it's right here. And it's on my desk, my bathroom counter. It's upstairs. It's downstairs in the kitchen. And I take, um, I take it every single day. Um, energy and um, metabolism boosting, fat burning, and y'all better mood and focus. Such a difference in mood and focus. And um, active and um, which is our um, clean, clean energy drink, no jitters, muscle recovery, which is great for uh, nitric oxide. Um, look it up if you are into muscle recovery, if you're into pre-workouts, 
And if you just are looking at mental focus and really um, your body functioning well during the day, um, definitely look that at um, increased oxygen and um, y'all mental focus. We all need just extra, extra wherever you can find it. And then get this, it features green tea leaf extract, yerba mate leaf extract, turmeric, tart cherry, blueberry, broccoli, kale, and beetroot. And as my friend Becky likes to say, you know, you are eating a lot of kale during quarantine. So um, it's a really just healthy, healthy, good product that you'll be proud that you're drinking instead of like embarrassed that you're drinking this energy drink. Okay. So it's a little bit about the products I'm going to mention. Let me tell you a little bit about my story. So I'm going to back it up and I have never told this version of my story before. And so just hold tight and hopefully it won't last very long. And in 2012, I was about 10 pounds lighter than I am right now, but I was eating crazy and healthy. And everything I was doing was um, mentally focused on how many calories were in food. Um, would it be okay if I skip this meal? Um, I do have a history, an um, adolescent history of um, eating disorder. So my brain goes there really fast. Um, it can, it almost is like eat everything or count everything. Um, and I kind of did not have an, a really healthy neutral. And um, so this is preplexus. And um, I was running till my body broke down. Um, I was really, um, I was struggling. And if I think back on it, I was really struggling because my body nutrition was just so bad. I was starving my body and um, not in a eating disorder pattern. Um, but um, definitely headed that direction in a mature version of that, I guess you could say. Um, and so I have all of my weight recorded if that gives you any idea of just where my brain is constantly kind of focused back on. Um, in July of 2015, I was about two years into Plexus and we actually got in um, for energy because I was a mama of three, um, as you can see them here. And my oldest is actually our daughter and she um, has cerebral palsy. And then the really active boys came along right after that. Um, and we needed energy. <laughs> we needed to be able to function every day. And um, so um, after that, it was about the weight that I am now, so a healthy weight for me. Um, a hormone crash, um, because of really just genetic and um, pre-existing conditions, um, a lot of female issues that had existed since I was young and were just like surfacing. And I had really gotten to keep a lot of those symptoms at bay with Plexus, with the um, slim and the blood sugar regulation, with all of the gut health stuff. Um, I actually had seen a lot of doctors and they were really impressive with things I wasn't struggling with. Um, but those things just came to a head um, as you know, my body just, just continued to break down in my female organs. And um, so I had major surgery um, four years ago um, and they went about it in kind of a dramatic um, way. And so my body just crashed after surgery. Um, it just really, really struggled and had just a hard time getting back. And so for the last three years or four years, Four years ago, but those first three years after surgery, my body struggled to um, to shed any weight at all. It literally, y'all, if my body could have found a pound, it was holding on to it for dear life. And in 2019, I was really, really um, struggling. You can see um, August of 2018 here in my face, and I didn't even realize it. I mean, I knew things were fitting tighter, but I didn't really realize um, how bad it had gotten. And it wasn't because I wasn't taking my products and it wasn't because um, I wasn't moving. And in this picture in August of 2018, I'm actually on a bike ride with my oldest um, or my oldest boy. And um, it was just that my body was not um, connecting some things. And so around this time in 2019, and um, our company came out with some new products and uh, a new, the active that we talked about, the lean that we talked about. And in the last year and a half, we've come out with MetaBurn um, and then another product called Balance. And, and with these products, uh, my body has just, just loved them. The formulations that our R&D team have done are incredible. Um, so last year I decided to really get control of my eating first and my eating in a very smart way, really thinking about carbs and fats and proteins in a really healthy, healthy way and um, cycling what I was eating every day, not eating the same thing. 
um, and really logging every single thing that I ate in a healthy way. So I was really almost playing a, my, a game with myself. It had nothing to do with calories. It all had to do with how much fat was I eating, how much uh, how many carbs was I eating and how much protein was I eating? Good, clean, lean protein. And you know, it challenged me to really be mindful of what I was eating. And I think that's so key to what we do is just mindful eating. And you can see in this chart, I, I posted this weight chart without my numbers on it. Um, because I wanted you to see that at the beginning, it really took some time for my body and um, to start to shed weight. And, and as I've gone through this journey, it's gone up and down, up and down, which can be frustrating, but I stuck with it because I really wanted to give it a full six months of eating really, really conscious, consciously. And and the only reason I could stick with it, I had tried eating like this before, and the only reason I think I could stick with it is because of meta burn balance, hunger control, and active and lean um, being a part of my daily um, weight loss routine. They were really a part of what helped me um, get control of my food intake. And um, then Lisa told you, um, we were really uh, got serious about this walking. I saw a friend of mine, Melissa, we were talking on Marco Polo one day. She was holding up her phone like this and walking. And I thought, her arms look really good. I wonder if I walked and held my arm up at the same time, like, you know, videotaping or talking to girlfriends, if um, I can look like that. And she has worked a lot harder for a lot longer. And um, so her arms are incredible. But I will say it was a challenge for me to just go, you know what, I'm going to go out. And today I walked with my son. And usually at night I walk with my husband. I will say I've done 10 flights of stairs going up and down and um, during virtual learning. I've tried not to sit down for any solid hours today and at least stand up for five minutes out of every hour. Um, you know, it's, it's not always easy. And like Lisa said, it's not something um, that we're perfect at, but it's something we work at every day. So here are the things that I, that I think are important for you to know. One, we drink a lot of water. I mean, I'm sitting here with this 32 ounce uh, jug of water. I don't even know how many times I've refilled it today because sometimes I just refill it halfway through anytime I walk by the refrigerator. And um, so we drink those a couple of times a day. We try to walk at least, or at least you do 10,000 steps a day. And sometimes that's in your house. And sometimes you're running around your kitchen, you know, at 10 o'clock at night, trying to get those last um, few steps in. But we really we work really hard to be consistent and challenge each other with the 10,000 steps. And that goes across our whole team. Lots of different people and lots of different teams and plexus are all doing that. And we're cheering each other on all the time. Um, I start every day with two balance and two meta burn, and that's why they're sitting on my desk. Is so if I come in here, um, I make sure and get those in. And um, I don't, I do not miss a day of my probiotic or my bio cleanse. Slim and active, I mix together every single day to make sure to get those in. Again, as much as we're drinking, it's really hard to snack, um, but I do try to snack on lean, clean proteins. I try to fill up um, with you know, my salads with a lot of vegetables and not a lot of unhealthy carbs or unhealthy sugars. And I love lean drinks. Um, I have learned that I am a natural and I'm an intermittent faster. I don't enjoy breakfast. Um, it's actually, I, I dislike most breakfast foods. Um, so every once in a while, I'll do a breakfast um, and then I go really light on lunch and dinner. Um, but usually I just um, power through in the morning um, with my water and then um, I open with a lean um, drink that I love. Um, and I really try to just eat mindfully. Y'all, if you could just move your body every day more than you move it right now, like try to double your movements, whatever that looks like. If you're, you know, taking the stairs twice a day, try to take the stairs four times a day. If you're parking, you know, one distance from the front door, try to park twice as far. And just try to do just a little bit more than what you're doing right now be really consistent with products that work. And I would say our products are proven to work. We're seven years in on the gut health and it is game changer. And we can tell you more about the gut health products for sure. And get out the person invited you if you're really interested in those gut health products, but adding the weight loss regime to the, on top of the gut health products, I think is the only reason these will have worked. Lisa and I both take Slim, ProBio5, and BioCleanse every single day, and then all of these other products, and just to um, add benefit to those. And um, we are really mindful about what we eat. We don't deny ourselves, like I might have, you know, an ice cream with the kids, but I usually get a mini, um, just because that's about all I want. 
Um, I try to only eat half of my dinner of like maybe something I would have eaten the whole thing of before. And so I've even gone and ordered kids sizes of meals because I really know I'm just not that hungry and it keeps me from feeling wasteful. So I am so excited that we got to share some of our stories with you. Um, we do have um, you know, a good line of products if you're interested in more of our products and we would love to share those with you. And tomorrow night, if you're interested at all, we have a little bit of information on how to work from your phone and to share these products with other people, to get a referral link that you can share with your friends and family so that they can be a part of these products as well. And then you can even cover the cost of what you're spending really, really easily. And we do product calls every Wednesday night. We do an income uh, call every Thursday night. And then we have stories of hope and time of prayer every other Saturday. And this is one of our Saturdays for that. If you're ever interested in just being prayed over or just hearing more about our stories, you can always join us on those. And two years from now, who knows where you might be? And right now there's a discount. So if you're interested at all in being a part of Plexus and you're not currently a part of Plexus, we would love to have you um, join us and um, understand a little bit more. And like Lisa said, it's a community of people that really want to um, rally around you and figure out where you struggle the most and then figure out where we can help with that. So we hope that you have had a great night, that you have learned a lot, and we can't wait to share more, more of your stories with everybody as well. Y'all have a great night.